Okay, so I exiled the ghost from my room. I've had it for a long time since I was a, since I was pretty much a kid. I had a ghost in my room, in this room. So, um, I didn't do anything about it until I had a friend come over. Cancer very felt you know felt the energy of everywhere she went, and it's the second week that I knew her. Right, this used to be over there when I had French doors instead of sliding glass doors. So, so you know. Hence the lines, which would be, it's, th it's basically this door, uh -huh. but over there. Okay. So, this over there, All right. this is over one of the doors. Right. My friend, after two weeks of knowing me, comes up, or goes downstairs and says, Heather, you have a ghost in your room. And I'm like, excuse me? How do you know I have a freaking ghost in my room? How'd you know? Because you knew. I knew, but I didn't tell her. Uh -huh. That's that's the weird thing is that she knew without any previous knowledge of the ghost, and so she says, "Okay, I'll be back in an hour." Why is she like this? She is back in an hour. And she says it's gone. Don't trip anymore. The ghost is gone. But you know what I find? Only this. All I find his face left or her. I thought it was a her always. So. Kind of looks like a guy in here, but she looks like this. It's an old wrinkled woman. Wrinkles. This is just a piece of cloth that's been. That's it's the ghost that's trapped. Is it not? I mean, like, like how was how was this so knotted up when it was just laying there like it is now? How, it didn't have anything leaning against it. It was just like this. So for me to find it with this freaking face on it. And there's really no denying that that is a face. <laughs> there's really no denying that this is a like face. Like, anyone looking at that <laughs> will see a face. <laughs> so, I, you know, I think it's the ghost I captured. I know it is, actually. And it just watches over me, and that's how it goes. That's it.